It's two-stroke day, baby. I took a PTO day off of work. I've been waiting five months to start this bike back up, and today is the day I am pumped up. I am so excited. I've missed my two-stroke so much, so damn much. But first, I haven't forgot about this four-stroke. My Tata got some love recently, and I'll show you guys those clips right here. Check this out. I'd rather have plastic than pocket. One, I deleted this flap back here, this rear mud flap that goes on the back. Somebody online mentioned to me that it's time to get rid of that ugly thing, and I never even thought about that. I never even contemplated that idea, but definitely took advice for them, and check this out. Yeah, this looks way better like this. It makes it look like a rocket now. It looks really good, and it shows off that aftermarket shock. That's why, that's pretty much the whole reason I did it. But on top of it, I went ahead and smoked the tail light. That tail light now matches so dang good. You can still see the turn signals at day and nighttime. But I also did these turn signals because I did this headlight up here. You guys seen that. So I have every plastic clear object tinted black as well with that rear fender cut off. And this bike looks good. But... I haven't been procrastinating or absent. The weather has been killing me. The weather for the past two, three weeks has been nothing but rain, 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 cold, rain, rain, cold, back and forth. But on the few good days that I had in between here, and there was like four or five of them, I did all this on this towel towel, but I went ahead and took the time to paint this transmission case back here, which I just did a few days ago. I'll throw in that clip here of me doing it. looking pretty good there's a few little nooks and crannies that's hard to access like these spots over here but I'll get to them bad boys this this looks good I'm really happy with this I've been waiting a long time to do this I haven't procrastinated the weather's been killing me but finally finally got this thing hit it's only the first layer right now so I'm definitely gonna hit it with a second still but damn that's going to change the whole look of this bike in the rear end. Most definitely. That is what I was picturing right there. Good deal. Yeah. 
and it looks phenomenal. I mean, I didn't even expect this to turn out the way that it did because it turned out flawless. There are some little gaps. I always see the little flaws, but overall, if you look at this block transmission case, it now matches this white CVT cover and the Kickstarter, which was my idea the whole time. White, 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 white. So pretty back here. I love the way this looks. It cleans up the rear end of this bike a whole lot. I went ahead and I did the tops over here too. White, white down there, white, all this stuff. So this bike is just two tone to the max and it looks phenomenal. But today, today is the day boys. We're building this bad girl and we have all the parts, everything we need. We got the Corsa motor in this box right here. We have all of the two stroke parts separated and organized in this box here. All the bolts, all the utilities. We got those rollers, we got these spark plugs, a whole pack of them. I've been waiting so long to do this, so long. But the good thing, the good news about a two stroke build is it's so simple. It is so easy to do. There's a subscriber that I have and his name is uh, JW. JW, you know who you are out there, bro. You've been around since day one. And he had a question last weekish on this bike over here about the valve adjustment. And he asked if the same concept applied to a two stroke and it simply does not. You know, if you guys don't know this, a two stroke does not have valves. It does not have a camshaft. It does not have any parts like that because it's a two stroke. The simple simplicity of these two strokes is this. This is the whole top end of this motor. And on this motor here, this is the whole thing. You have your piston, you have your jug, cylinder wall, and then you simply have your head right here. That's it. One, two, three parts that go together. It's like Legos. Two strokes are way easier to build, much less time consuming, but more finicky. So where we're at real quick, so you guys know what's going on. All I gotta do today is assemble that motor, get that all together, get gas in this carburetor, hook up this ground to the bottom of the motor, throw on the battery that is in this box and charged up. I ended up just charging it. I didn't have to get a new one and it has 12 volts, exactly what it needs. So we're gonna build the motor. We're gonna get gas in that carburetor. We're gonna throw the battery on there. And that's it. That's it, boys. Let's do this, man. Boys, you're not going to believe this. My heart is broken right now. I got a 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter, just like the last one. Man, bro, it's always something with this fucking bike, dude. I have a stage six and a Polini 12 millimeter bearing. And, uh, yeah, simple as this. She don't fit. She does not fit both of them. Both of them do not fit whatsoever. I'm not even gonna sit here and try to fuck with it. <sighs> After all this anticipation, all this waiting, I got the size that I needed. This damn Naraku crank, man. I got these strong ass needle bearings. And look at this. They don't even fit one bit. Both of them don't. So this is just, you know, go figure type shit, right? Oh, look, look, it fits around this just fine. That's, you know, that's what it is. That's what you're supposed to have. And then it does not fit in here. Just does not fit. And this needs to go on. You can't have it without that. I don't even know why I'm sitting here trying still. I got two, just in case. Yeah, the build can't happen now. I gotta wait for Dave to open up the shop and maybe by chance he has one, but I highly freaking doubt it. Highly doubt it. I don't even know what size to get now, man. This is so sad. 
This is so sad. Here's the crankshaft that I ordered. 12 millimeter inner diameter. Here's both of the freaking bearings that I ordered, 12 millimeter. It's too thick. They're too thick, man. They match up in dimensions, 12 by 15 by 17. The next one below it is a 10 mil. What the hell, man? I gotta wait here until the shop opens and figure out a plan. It fits around here just fine. You know, fits around the wrist pin perfectly, but these do not slip into it. I can't grind these down, so. All right, Dave is there. We're heading to Scooter Tuners right now. Let's cruise over there and see what he thinks. All right, we're at Scooter Tuners right now. He doesn't have a 12 mil in. I didn't think he would, but I called Scooter Tuning. It was a long conversation and they ended up saying, yeah, no problem. We'll send you a Polini one because they sent me two identical stage sixes. The problem is I'm looking at these two and they're exactly the same. There is no difference between the two. And I'll put a link or not a link, a photo up here. I ordered both of those, one Polini and one stage six in case this problem happened. And it did happen, but they sent me two identical ones. So long story short, the dude is sending me one right now. It's gonna take two days to get here. After all this prep that I did, I took a PTO day off of work for this. The bike's ready to go. I'm so disappointed, man. Problems, always problems. So I really don't know if I'm gonna edit this or upload this video right now, because if I get it Sunday, if, okay, if you guys see this and it's on Sunday, hell yeah. But if you see it and it's not here yet, we gotta wait. We gotta wait, bro. It's ridiculous. All these problems with this bike, man. This bike's got curses on it, I swear. So, whatever. I don't know what I'm gonna do for myself today. Ride around, it's a beautiful day, that's a good thing. But um, I'll keep you guys updated, man. So it's Sunday. Um, it's a little disappointing, man. I didn't receive that needle bearing in the mail yet. They sent it out and they said it'd be here in two days. But long story short, it doesn't even matter because I made a mistake. That's a 12 millimeter rod, and the needle bearing I need is 12 millimeters. But there are different dimensions. The ones that I ordered are 12 by 17 by 17. But if you keep scrolling down the page, and I'll show you a photo of it here, that's a Naraku crank, right? Up in the section where you can get these needle bearings, there is a 12 millimeter Naraku bearing. Now, down below that is a stage six, 12 by 16 by 15. So a little bit smaller because that needle bearing is just a little bit too big. So even if they sent me that part today, it wouldn't matter, it's not gonna fit, that sucks. I made a mistake, I just assumed that all the parts on that page were for 12 millimeter rods, but there's different dimensions. So I did order the correct one. I ordered the stage six, 12 by 16 by 15. I got it. I got it on the way, express shipping, one to two business days, so what this means is next weekend <laughs> i keep dragging this on and this sucks man i don't want to drag it on like this it's ready to go the only thing we need to do is assemble the motor you know throw in the spark plug connect the battery to it put gas in the tank suck the gas into the carburetor and start it up that's where we're at right now and um yeah we're very close i don't like all these setbacks they keep happening you know, a broken piston ring and the delay on the part for that piston ring. And now I ordered the wrong size needle bearing. So lesson learned, but at least they have a stage six, 12 by 15 by 16, whatever it is. They have the correct one in a stage six, so that's good. So unfortunately, boys, this sucks. I'm going to have to end it off here today. The Tao Tao got a huge makeover absolutely looks phenomenal all the bolts are painted black everything's looking sharp she runs great that vento is this close this close to being started up next weekend <laughs> so i'm sorry man i'm bummed out too but it's not the biggest deal because we got this the weather is here it's finally consistently 70 degrees the sun is out and shining so it's still here but next weekend we will continue this build for sure so i'll be here my bikes will be here. Until next time, guys.